Bank of Japan is in a very tricky spot with its interest rate decision this week. The central bank has already gone through the looking glass, cutting rates below 0% in January in yet another attempt to get inflation up to target. If that sounds familiar, it's because it's been trying to hit that target with ever grander gestures for several years. At the time, in January, one insider boasted that this was the most powerful monetary easing in modern central bank history. But what does pride come before again? January's move went down like a lead balloon. Shops reportedly had a run on vaults, such as the concern amongst ordinary people for what will happen to their savings. Business confidence has tumbled. Growth prospects are not looking rosy. Notably, and unhelpful for inflation, the yen has also climbed. Now, in part, that's because of a drop in the dollar. The dollar has to drop against something else after all, and indeed it's fallen against pretty much everything. But the climb in the yen also reflects a general sense of malaise in markets that central banks are at the limits of what they can achieve. So what can the Bank of Japan do next? Well, the market clearly thinks it will do something, hence the pullback in the currency in recent days. It's a brave investor who runs into this meeting with a positive bet on the currency just in case of a flash of genius from the central bank. One suspicion is that on top of the negative rates for deposits, which banks don't like, it could even start effectively paying banks to borrow from the central bank. Bizarro world, but at least bank friendly and potentially supportive to lending across the economy. The central bank could also try more of the same, but with so many previous uninspiring efforts, it's hard to see what would make it work this time. But it has to do something, unless it fancies playing with fire on the currency and stoking confusion about how it reacts to data and market conditions. So, good luck on Thursday. Anything other than a lose-lose would be an impressive result. Ultimately, though, it might need to wait for the Fed to weave its magic on the dollar to help it out.